Om Ayur Dehi Pranam Dehi Apanam Dehi Vyanam Dehi Chakshur Dehi Shrotram Dehi Mano Dehi Vacham Dehi Atmanam Dehi Pratishtam Dehi Mam Dehi Mai Dehi May our life be blessed. May our ability to inhale and exhale be blessed. Our ability to move about to feel our fingers and toes. May our nervous system be blessed. May our vision, our hearing, our, able, our ability to reason and understand and cognize, may these functions be blessed. Our ability to speak and communicate, particularly that which is truthful, may that be blessed. May our spirit be blessed. May those activities that we do that support our families and support our communities, those beneficial activities, may they be blessed. May the conceivable and inconceivable totality be blessed, of which we're a small, small part. And may our home, may our space around us be blessed as well. Good afternoon. It's lovely to be with you on such a beautiful day today, it's such a lovely day outside where I am. And I hope you've had a nice productive day. And I'm happy that you're joining me uh, for my yoga practice. I'm so honored and pleased every time that we can practice yoga together. Yoga has helped me so much in my life. It's transformed me inside and out. So I'm, I have a very uh, debt of gratitude uh, for the practice of yoga and particularly uh, to Mr. TKB Deskajar from who gave all of, well, gave me all this information. I've met him a few times. So directly through him and also through his uh, student, my teacher. And uh, I was inspired again to take one of Mr. Deskachar's practices and share it with you. This practice comes from his book, uh, Religiousness in Yoga. So this is a practice from the book called Religiousness in Yoga. So I hope you enjoy it. I modified it just once or twice, just so it's a little bit easier to transition from standing coming down to the floor. But it's a pretty much, pretty much an accurate uh, transcription of his practice. Let's do a little bit of breathing first, shall we? Can I invite you to sit carefully, upright, shoulders back, lips together. Begin to sharpen your field of attention. Start creating that gentle ujjayi H valving, that soft H sound as you breathe in and out. Just take a little bit of an inhale with me now, breathing in. Breathing out. Let's practice some six second breathing together. Please join me. Inhaling in one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now exhale, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try it again. Inhale, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more times. Breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do one more round. Breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Very good. This is the breathing that we'll use in our asana practice. And at the end, we'll use this ujjayi breathing in a short ujjayi pranayama practice. So let's start standing. Let's have a nice practice together. So I generally like to start with tadasana, but Mr. Deskachar has us starting with uttanasana. So feet together, arms at your sides or behind you. Lips together, mouth closed. Take a smooth inhale with me now. Breathing in. Slowly breathing out. As you inhale with me, raise your right arm out wide enough. Breathe in one, two, three, four, five, and six. As you exhale, fold, sweep the arm behind you. Come in down, breathe out one, two, three, four, five, and six. As you inhale, stand, raise your left arm up one, two, 
four, five, and six. Exhale, sweep and fold with the left arm coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right arm sweeps coming up again. One. Like you're breathing and moving together. Five, six. And let's sweep the right arm back and fold, breathing out. One, two, three, four, Six, feel your back, feel your legs. It's left arm sweep standing up with me now. Three, four, five, six. And sweep the left arm as you fold forwards and down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now both arms, sweep both arms as you stand. One, two, five, six. Sweep both arms behind you. Exhale, folding down. All right, feel your back, feel your legs, hips, hamstrings, tuck your chin, pull in your tummy. Again, inhale, sweep both arms wide enough. And once again, sweep both arms full, coming down. Nice and steady breathing. Six, sweep both arms again, flatten your back, inhale, stand up. Six, and then stay standing. Exhale, bring your arms down at your sides. Very good. Next, Tadasana. Today, we'll do the Tadasana where we're balancing, where we're lifting the heels and raising our arms. We'll do it four times in a row. Inhale first where you are. Exhale with me now. As you inhale, lift your heels off the floor. Raise both arms up to the sky. If you can, interlock your fingers and turn your palms open. As you exhale, release your fingers, lower your arms and heels slowly back down to the ground. Tadasana. We'll do it one more time. Lift your heels, raise your arms, inhale, come up. We'll change it just a bit in the next cycle. Balancing. Nice. Focusing our attention. Exhale, lowering the arms, lowering the heels down. And again, inhale, lifting the heels, raising our arms. We're going to come up. We're going to hold the pose balance here. Stay here, exhale where you are. Slowly inhale, stretch a bit more deeply. Your chest, shoulders, and arms. And exhale, lower your arms, lower your heels down. And we'll repeat that one more time. We're gonna stay one another breath. Inhale, heels and arms lift up. And fingers interlock, palms open, feel your wrists, arms, and shoulders. And stay here, exhale. Stay here, inhale. Good, stay here, exhale. And once more, inhale, stretch like you're getting a little bit longer. And exhale, lower your arms, lower your heels and rest. All right, next we'll practice Parjva Uttanasana. So let me invite you to step your right foot forwards and left foot back. We'll go down and up four times in a row, and we're going to stay just like we did now. Every time we're going to stay just kind of an extra breath. So we'll take the right hand behind us. The right foot is forwards. The back left leg stays straight. Inhale, raise your left arm forwards and up. Now slowly as you exhale, fold down. Bring your left hand down by your right foot. Feel your back, hip, and hamstring. Lift your left arm and stand back up. Nice stable legs, nice flat back. We'll do that one more time, and then we'll change it. Exhale, we'll fold forwards and down. Relax your shoulder, tuck your chin, feel your body. Inhale again, lift forwards and up, feel your legs as you come up. And we're gonna come down again as we exhale, forwards and down. And we're gonna stay down here for breath, keeping the hand on the floor. Stay here one time, inhale where you are. Exhale, stretch a bit more deeply. Lift your left hand, come back up, inhale. We're gonna do it one more time, all the way up, feel your legs. And again, exhale, fold down, nice, stable legs, hands to the floor, relax your shoulders, tuck your chin, feel that right hip and hamstring. Now two times, inhale where you are. Stay here, exhale where you are. Feel that right hip and hamstring. One more time, inhale where you are. And again, exhale, feel that right hip and hamstring. Now, nice, stable legs, eyes open. Come all the way to standing, nice, strong legs. Oh, feel those thighs. Exhale, lower your arms, step your feet together. 
Take a breath in and out. Kind of strong staying in that extra breath. Left foot forwards, right foot. Forward. I like this. It's building some energy in my legs for sure. Let me invite you to take your left hand behind you. Take a breath in where you are. Exhale with me now. Same six second breathing. And now this time, right arm comes up on the inhale. And we're going to bring the hand forwards and down on the exhale. We did it two times without just repeating up and down. And that left hip enhancing. Lift the arm, come up, inhale. Stable leg. And one more time, down and up. Exhale, coming down. Look how nice it is to feel our muscles, to move and breathe together. Lift again, forwards and up. Inhale, flatten your back as you come up. And again, exhale, come down. Please. And we're going to stay down for a breath. Keep your hand on the ground. Inhale where you are. Exhale, stretch a bit more deeply. Lift your right hand flat back, stand back up. We're going to come down one more time. And one more time, exhale, coming down. Tucking my chin, pulling in my abs. Now two times, stay where you are. Inhale slowly. Exhale. Relax your right shoulder. Stay there one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Feel that energy in your leg. Now stable, stable, stable. Lift the arm, come forwards and up. Inhale. Exhale, lower the arms, step your feet together and rest. Next position, legs apart. So here, again, he tends to do more repetitions than I do, six times down and up. So we're gonna feel hips and thighs symmetrically. And so the routine is like this. Inhale, open your arms like a letter T. And when you exhale, it's kind of old fashioned. Exhale, see if you can bring your hands to your feet, your ankles or toes. And then inhale, stand up, open your arms apart, come back up. That looks very good. Exhale again, slowly come down. Just nice and steady, moving and breathing. I'm going to bend my elbows, tuck my chin, and inhale. I'm flattening the back, opening the arms as I come up. I can feel my hips and thighs. And again, exhale, folding down. I can definitely feel my hips, my hamstrings, my calves, my inner thighs. Again, inhale, flatten your back, arms wide, come up. Bend your hips and thighs. We have three more. Again, exhale down. Relax your shoulders, bend your elbows, tuck your chin. And again, inhale, flatten your back, come up, feel your hips and thighs. And two more. Exhale, coming down. I can feel heat in my body. I can feel heel, feet in my thighs. And again, inhale, flat back, come up. Nice, strong, flat arms, straight arms. And again, exhale, down. Just nice, smooth, dynamic movements. And again, inhale, flat back, coming up. And stay standing. Exhale, lower your arms. And step your feet together. That's good. I can feel energy. Definitely energy. Warmth and circulation. So this wasn't in Mr. Deskachar's practice, but I thought we would include standing to kneeling to Chakravakasana just as an elegant transition. So we'll stand at the back of the yoga mat now. And before we move together, let's just pause for a breath. Notice how you feel. I hope you feel well. Let's inhale, and we'll exhale. And now just raising the arms, keep the heels on the ground, raise your arms up as you breathe in. And now exhale, bring your fingertips down towards your feet, coming down. Then stay here with the breath, inhale exactly where you are. And now exhale, if you stretch your back and legs a little bit more, we're gonna need to stretch those legs. Now inhale, come forwards onto your hands and knees, Chakravakasana, on all fours, put your toes behind you, and three times, exhale with me, lower the buttocks to the heels, chest to your thighs. Feels good. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, slowly coming forwards, I'm flattening the upper back, looking forwards just a bit, and same, exhale, coming down, pulling in the tummy, pressing out as much air as you can. I can feel my thighs, I can feel my knee joints, I can feel my shins. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale back and down. 
I hope that feels nice for your low back and sacrum and hips and thighs and knees and shins. Wait here for a moment. Take a breath in and out. And please lie down on your back. Lie down on your back. Next, Supta uh, Prasarita Padasana. So I'll do my best to describe these supine exercises so you don't have to look at your view screen. We're going to start lying on the back. Make sure you have lots of room overhead because we'll be raising our arms overhead. So first, thighs to the chest, arms by your sides with the palms facing down. And just like we've been doing, kind of lifting, where well, we're going to be raising our arms and legs. And then each time we're going to stay an extra breath. So let's inhale first. Let's exhale together. Chin tuck, back flat. Inhale now, raise your legs to the sky. Raise your arms up and over to the floor behind you. Feel your body here. Exhale, lower your arms, bend both knees. Heels to the bottom, thighs to the chest. We'll do that one more time, then we'll start to hold the pose. Inhale, raise your arms, raise your legs up. Feel your hips and hamstrings. Exhale, please lower your arms, bend your knees, feel your shoulders. Tummy pulls in, low back presses in the floor. Again, inhale, raise your arms, raise your legs up. But now, hold the position where you are. Exhale slowly where you are. Flex your feet, feel your calves, feel your legs. Hold the pose, inhale where you are. And now exhale, bend your knees, lower your arms. Very good, I can clearly see that we're moving and breathing together. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, raise your legs, raise your arms again. Up your chin so your neck isn't arching excessively. And again, stay here. Exhale where you are. Pull in your tummy below the navel, behind the navel. And stay here. Inhale, extend through your arms and legs. But now listen. Stay here again. Exhale where you are. Try to sense that your back is nice and flat, pressing nicely into the floor. Chin tuck. And once again, Inhale, extend through your arms and legs. Feel those hamstrings. Exhale, lower your arms and bend your knees. All right, you're very familiar with this next exercise. Place your feet on the floor. Bridge pose, same thing. We'll go up and down a few times and then we'll hold one breath each time. The arms are at your sides. We're just going to lift our hips up and down. So will you try now? Inhale, lift your bottom up off the floor. Inhale, come up. Feel your head, feel your neck, feel your shoulders. And then exhale slowly, lower down, upper back and mid back, low back, sacrum and tailbone. And again, inhale, lift your bottom off the floor, feel the soles of your feet, feel your thighs, glutes. And exhale again slowly, upper, mid and low back touches down. Okay, so now we're going to change it just a bit. Inhale again, please lift off the floor, one smooth breath. But now hold the pose. Stay in the position XO where you are. Feel your thighs. Strong glutes. Stay here. Inhale. You can lift a little bit higher. And now exhale, lower down. And we'll do that one more time with another extra breath. So please inhale, press into your feet. Lift your bottom off the floor again. Nicely aligned feet, nicely aligned thighs. And stay here, XO with me. I can definitely feel my thighs and my glutes. And stay here, inhale. Press the feet on the floor. Stay here, exhale. Uh, again, stay here, inhale. And now lower down, exhale. Very good. Now, this was interesting. Please turn over onto your side and join me standing on your knees. So very interesting. Oftentimes, I'll use Upanasana as a counterpose to backbending. Mr. Deskachar chose Vajrasana. So very interesting. So standing up on the knees. Just like an Uttanasana, take your hands behind you. Exhale first. Inhale, sweep your right arm slowly out and up. That's very good. Let's exhale, fold, sweep the right arm behind us, coming down. And now left arm. Inhale, stand slowly, left arm sweeps out and up. 
Let's exhale, fold, sweeping the left arm behind us as you come down through your shoulders, back and hips. We'll do that one more time. Right arm first, inhale, widen up. Nice smooth breath. Straight arm if you can. And exhale, we'll sweep and come down. Moving with that beautiful, smooth, slow breath. Inhale, left arm sweeps, coming up. And nice smooth exhale, we'll sweep and fold, coming down. And let's do two more with both arms now. Inhale, both arms sweep, coming up. So sweep both arms, coming forwards and down. Pull in your tummy, if you remember, below and behind the navel. One more time. Inhale, sweep and come up again. Flatten your back. Nice deep inhale. Expand your chest. Straighten your arms. Exhale, sweep and fold, coming down. And rest for a breath in the downward position. Take a breath in and out. And this is very interesting. Please sit up and straighten your legs in front of you. Janu Shirshasana. So straighten your legs and then fold your right knee and bring your right foot up against your left inner thigh. In his diagram, he demonstrated using both arms. Both arms is kind of strong. So I'll, in this, in the, as I, I'll guide you with both arms, but you can also just do one arm if it's, both arms are too strong or just slide the hands down and up. Remember, you don't want to strain your body. Either, either the right arm or both arms. Inhale, lift up. And now you're going to reach across and hold the left foot coming down. We're going to go down and up three times. It's a little bit strong. Either the right arm or both arms, reach forwards and up. And again, exhale, coming down. Look to feel your left hip, hamstring, low back. And again, inhale, forwards and up. Good, exhale, folding down. And we're gonna stay down for four breaths. Hold the position. Stay here, inhale. Exhale. Feel your muscles as you stretch. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Pull in your tummy, relax your shoulder. Two more times, slowly, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, feel your torso expanding. Exhale, tummy pulls in, elbow bend, shoulders relax. That's a pretty deep stretch. And then sit up, raise your arms as you inhale, sit up, please. So lower your arms, straighten your legs. That's a pretty deep stretch. Let's see how the other side feels. I'm gonna turn around just in case you wanna see. But here it's just right leg straight, left foot in. <laughs> Can you feel your leg muscles stretching? <laughs> All right, let's exhale first. And again, here you can take the left hand to the right foot. You can slide the hands. I'll do both hands. Inhale, both arms up. Nice smooth exhale, fold forwards. Either left hand or both hands, coming down. And then lifting, forwards and up, flat back. And again, exhale, folding. Nice and smooth. Good afternoon, back. Good afternoon, legs. Again, inhale, up. And exhale, down. Now let's stay in this position for four breaths together. Please inhale with me now. Exhale, pull in your tummy. I hope you can feel your low back, hip, hamstring, and calf. Three more times. Inhale with me again. Exhale, pull in your tummy, relax your shoulder. Two more times. Inhale with me again, please. And exhale. One more time, please. Inhale, nice and smooth, long inhale. 
And nice and smooth, long exhale. Sit back up, inhale, arms can come up. And straighten your left leg, lower your arms. And then just as a precaution, this wasn't in his sequence, but I felt it would be good for my back to just to compensate with a symmetric forward fold. So we'll sit up straight, rest your hands on by your sides or on your legs and just inhale. Exhale three times, just slide your hands and stretch your back and legs symmetrically. And then flatten your upper back and sit up as you inhale. Shoulders down, chin top, neck long. Again, exhale, you're looking to feel low back, upper back, hips, hamstrings, calves. And again, flatten your upper back so you're not hunched as you come up. And exhale, slide down. Low back, hips, hamstrings, and calves. And inhale, slide back up. And exhale where you are. Lastly, just a short little pranayama practice at the end. So please sit comfortably. And you can sit on a bench or a chair like we did in the beginning. Or grab a pillow or a thick cushion so your hips are elevated. So you're not slouching. The practice is rather simple. A little six-second breathing and a little bit of three second hold after exhale. So we'll do it uh, 12 times in a row. So inhale first where you are, just take a breath in. Exhale with me now. And six second inhale, breathe in one, two, three, four, five, six. Six second exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three second suspension, one, two, three, inhale, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, keep the breath out for three, one, two, three, inhale, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six, hold the breath out. One, two, three. Inhale, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the breath out. One, two, three. Inhale, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, please. One, two, three, four, five, Six, keep the breath out, please. One, two, and three. Inhale again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the breath out. One, two, three. Inhale again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, hold the breath out, one, two, and three. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping the breath out, one, two, and three. Inhale again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six, holding the breath out. One, two, three. Last three times. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the breath out. One, two, three. Last two. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Six, holding the breath out. One, two, three. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold the breath out. One, two, three. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five six and we're done short and sweet let's rest for a few moments together 
And let's notice how we feel after this practice. It's a short rest. If you like, you can hug the knees in the chair. Your hands, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, facial muscles, relax your torso, relax your legs. Everything gets a short rest. Don't move yet. Just to kind of notice one more, one more little scan, muscles and joints. Notice your level of attention. Notice how you feel. And is there a difference? Is there a difference in how you feel now? For me, the answer is yes. But how would you describe how you feel now? I'll wiggle my fingers and toes. I'll bend both knees and slowly turn over onto one side and sit up. I would have to say from my own experience doing this practice, this is a very straightforward practice. I feel calm. I feel like I did some work. It was kind of interesting. I'm not used to doing so many dynamic movements uh, so much, but it's good. I feel like I can sit up straight and my mind is clear and I feel alert. This was a nice practice. I think any healthy person could do this practice successfully. What did you think? Did you enjoy today's practice? It's nice to practice these sequences that are from my yoga teacher's yoga teacher, Mr. Deskachar. So I hope you enjoyed his sequence. And as always, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to stay healthy, to breathe, to move, to maintain good health. That's the important thing. So please, may that continue. Bye for now. Namaste.